Good evening. I am Patrick Pavoil. I am uh, a professor and chair of the Department of Microbial Pathogenesis at the University of Maryland in Baltimore, and I'm also FEMS director for research and publication. This presentation is going to be about the portfolio, the FEMS portfolio of journals, I'm emphasizing the present and the future of the FEMS uh, publication for portfolio. Until 2019, FEMS published five journals, Microbial Ecology, Microbiology Letters, Microbiology Reviews, Pathogen and Disease, and Yeast Research. These journals are all published on the hybrid publishing platform, which means that there are two options. It is either free to publish, but the catch is that the uh, publication are only accessible to subscribing institution, or you can publish in open access, either gold, where you pay an APC, or green, where there is a delay of one year for uh, publication. All contents are made freely available one year after publication. The journals are doing well. Uh, the Clarivate impact factor, uh, previously called the Reuters impact factor, is either steady for PAD and FEMS letters or rising. We've seen some really significant rise of the impact factor for microbiology reviews, yeast research, and microbial ecology in, in recent years. What has happened in 2020 is that FEMS has launched two new journals in open access journals, FEMS Microbes and MicroLife. And I'm gonna spend some time to tell you more about this in a, in a minute. Both those journals are open access, so they are immediately accessible to all. Of course, the, uh, there is a, an APC to publish, but I want to emphasize that all FEMS Society members have uh, uh, the opportunity to have discounts to publish in those journals. The authors will sign a Creative Commons Open Access License. We may talk about this later if you uh, like to, to find out what this is. So MicroLife. MicroLife is intended to be the journal for the uh, European Academy of Microbiology. It is uh, uh, intended to be a high profile journal, so called uh, the EMBO journal for microbiology. It is broad scope, covers all microbes and all aspects of microbiology, and it publishes full length research articles, short reviews, commentaries, and perspectives, including output from uh, EAM working groups, which are very interesting, and there have been some very interesting uh, workshops uh, and working groups of the EM recently. These are the uh, chief editors. So we have a team of chief editors, Axel Brackage from University of uh, Vienna, a uh, mycologist uh, slash uh, biotech expert, Carmen Buckreiser from the Pasteur Institute in Paris, microbial pathogenesis expert, Matthias Orn uh, from University of Vienna, an uh, evolutionary uh, microbiologist, and Paula Trachtman from uh, University of South Carolina, who is a card-carrying vi virologist. FEMS Microbe is a journal for all microbes and all microbiologists alike. It is intended to be a high volume, high quality uh, uh, venue for publication of uh, high quality research. It really emphasizes the support of early career researchers. Uh, it's also broad scope and covers all microbes and aspects of microbiology. And it also publishes uh, full length research articles, short reviews, commentaries, and perspectives. We also have a, a, an all women team of chief editors Jana Yas from the University of Örebro in Sweden. Uh, Kathleen Scott from the University of South Florida, and uh, Kimberly Klein from University of Singapore. Uh, I have listed uh, the uh, website. You can visit uh, and learn a lot more about this journal, these new journals and the old one, the older one on the website uh, at OUP or at FEMS. <laughs> 